I've known Jack Profumo for about seven years. And I've just read the statement that he made in the House of Commons this afternoon. It's a dreadful thing that a man should be put in the position of having to do this as a result of entirely baseless rumours and insinuations that have been started by the press. I know them to be baseless because I was there when the meetings took place. And there is absolutely nothing of a sinister nature which can be attached to these occasions. I've been absolutely appalled to see the deceitful way in which an impression is created in people's minds. But at the same time, those people aren't told specifically what the accusations are. Um, take the case of Captain Ivanov of the Soviet Embassy. I know this man. I've known him for about two years. I know him to be a man of great honour. I've never heard him once say anything detrimental to this country. I've never heard him be disrespectful to the Prime Minister. He was a loyal Russian and liked by everybody he met. And yet somehow he's been represented as a sinister figure and goodness only knows what sort of interpretation is being put upon the fact that uh, he uh, was a visitor to my flat and um, uh, to my f um, I know where Miss Keeler is or roughly where she is and the impression that I got this morning was that she was blissfully unaware of all the furor that she's caused uh, about her disappearance. 